everybody, welcome to Mondays with Mark. I'm Mark, and this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Oh, yes, it is. Welcome or welcome back. It is so great to see you. Let me tell you. <laughs> and happy Monday, everybody. All oh, today, we are going to have some Easter fun. Kind of a continuation from last week, our, our Easter doubleheader we had. Yep, we have so much fun tonight. Okay, so first of all, we're going to have another project. We're going to make a really awesome uh, wreath for our door that'll be just perfect for Easter uh, and or spring. So you can like kind of pick how long you want to leave it up. It's a pretty fun project project and um we have a little sneak peek at some things coming up and uh of course you know i i just had to do some interesting facts about easter and it might have a little twist to it if you know what i mean <laughs> and of course we're gonna have some chit chat get caught up and everything oh you know what but first gotta tell you something so next week we have a little change in schedule for mondays with mark oh yeah we had to make a little room for a special we're doing y'all next week we're going to the movies everyone steve and mark here oh yes and we have a giveaway just for you we are going to the movies in our next special yes we are it's called cinemagic and it's all about the magic of the movies so we want to know what is the most popular movie of all time. Now that is according to our SSAM community. So we're taking a poll. Let us know what your favorite movie is. You know, it's that one that you saw like a hundred times and still could see a hundred times more. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that, that one. one. So you can let us know by E-M, I-M, or D-M. Or leave a comment below. Yes, and when you do, you are entered into our giveaway. What do they win, Mark? Well, I'm glad you asked. We just happen to have a Cinemagic prize basket. Oh, it's chock full of movie memorabilia. Fun. Okay, let me just tell you. First of all, we'll start off with an SSAM gift pack. That's our Good Vibes Only t-shirt. We have keychains and stickers. Yes. And from America's favorite popcorn, we have another gift bag. And this has like, this has... Look at this, it's a puzzle, some playing cards, there's a popcorn ball maker, a cinch sack, all kinds of good stuff. Mm. But no movie night would be complete without dinner and a movie, right? So, oh yeah, we have a $25 Uber, Uber Eats gift card, and five free rentals at Redbox. That's either at the kiosk or right online they can stream it too there you go oh yeah and, and there's not one we're picking two winners <laughs> pretty mm -hmm. cool huh yeah oh yeah i love this i want this for myself oh, oh my gosh cool. now you have until april 15th to get your entries in and let me tell you you deserve an academy award if you let us know by video <laughs> just make sure it's 60 seconds or less and you're okay with us sharing it in a future video okay all right good, good luck, luck everybody <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's so much fun like, i'm excited about it it's been a while since we've done like a, a, a special themed video you know i mean we do do theme videos but uh i don't know we're just gonna have a lot of fun in that and oh my gosh we're already getting your favorite movies in it's so cool i thought that was a really really um i don't know fun thing to do let's pick the most popular movie according to our little community here so i'm anxious to see how it all turns out so get those entries in okay i think you have till uh friday yeah friday's the 15th so but um yeah we've been doing um we have a lot of things actually in the works right now. I feel like there's like a bunch of stuff going on. I got to keep track of it all. <laughs> I'm not good at that. But uh, anyway, and we're so we're like, well, we're trying to make more shorts. That's one thing. Oh, speaking of shorts. You see the peeps? <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're really awesome, aren't they? And here's how I made them. Mmm, mmm, love me some peeps. Wait, oh, I have an idea. I know, let's make some bunny peep 
backyard stakes. First, grab some foam kneeling pads from the Dollar Tree. Oh yeah, and you will need some scrap wood to make a stake. Then grab a bunny peep template and trace it right on your kneeling pad. And next we cut. Nice, huh? Okay, so now we add eyes and a nose using a black Sharpie marker. Now cut a slot into the bottom and slide your steak right into it. Oh, I'm sorry, little peep. I know this is uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, next finish off with a bunny bow tie made of jute. And that's it, y'all. <laughs> I made short, I made short. <laughs> you know, those shorts are a lot of fun to do, but like ones um, that are like that, you know, with like the graphics and stuff, they're actually a little harder to make than the long videos. Um, you're trying to get like all this information in like 60 seconds or less. It's it's a bit challenging, but it's a lot of fun to do. I do like doing them. And we have a couple more coming up too, you know, with the kids in it, you know. Bandit and Oscar, of course, you know. Um, so that, let's see how we were doing the shorts. And uh, we have some other videos in the work, too. And, of course, you know, we've been trying to improve, like, well, like the quality of the videos with the editing. And the, we got new phones that have better cameras on it. And I just got some new lighting in, too. So hopefully that'll help enhance the SSAM experience. Hmm. <laughs> what <laughs> and uh well even personally too like here here in the apartment um we're doing like i don't know if you'd call it spring cleaning or what you would call, i don't know but we're like making some improvements here in the apartment and we shared that we're going to be doing a little like i don't know mini apartment style kitchen renovation you know um and uh we got a lot of requests to um show how we're going to do the the like apartment style backsplash behind the stove you know so yeah i will go ahead and make a video of um how i'm going to do that so um that'll be kind of fun too i still don't have it all figured out yet but hopefully i will soon <laughs> we'll see what happens it's a lot like our project tonight we'll see how it turns out <laughs> pretty much all the projects are like that but usually they turn out okay you know i don't know but um all right all right all right so back to easter y'all it's easter week easter is less than a week away actually it's this sunday coming up and we did a couple uh cool projects last week and i have a couple um other little little mini things that uh maybe we'll put in some videos this week coming up um but i yeah i couldn't let the holiday pass without sharing some well interesting facts about Easter and you know I gotta keep the uh, tradition going of our spooky interesting facts here check it out fluffy bunnies chocolate colored eggs oh Easter is a beloved holiday celebrated around the world so let's dig into its fun history from its pagan beginnings to its current condition here are some fun facts all about Easter spooky edition and it all starts with Halloween. Easter and Halloween go head to head for the most candy sales every year, with Halloween reigning supreme for over 20 years. Now that's believed because Halloween purchases are more spread out over the month leading up to the spooky night, whereas people buy more candy the week before Easter. It's a massacre! And I'm talking about how we eat our chocolate bunnies. Turns out 76% of Americans prefer to eat the ears off first, followed very quickly by, well, you probably guessed it, the rump. Okay, the tail, the tail. <laughs> and talk about a sweet chocolatey aftermath. A recent study showed that one in five American children report being sick the day after Easter. Oh, you little piglets, you ate too much chocolate! 
Now, the idea of the Easter Bunny delivering candy and eggs originated in Germany during the Middle Ages, and Dutch settlers in Pennsylvania brought the bunny to the United States in the 1700s, and the rest is delicious history. Now, fast forward to current times and a rather popular tradition, the picture with the Easter Bunny. But years ago, this tradition was particularly spooky. Well, actually scary, uh, as evident in these terrifying Easter Bunny pictures from back in the day. Now, I'm assuming these bunnies are unintentionally scary, but it is curious that most all of the bunnies were like this back then. Hmm... Well, uh, think handing over our children to a stranger in a creepy bunny outfit is a strange tradition? Listen to this medieval children's game. A priest would give a choir boy a hard-boiled egg, and then that choir boy would pass it amongst all the other choir boys until the clock struck midnight. And the choir boy that held that hard-boiled egg at that time... Well, he got to eat it. <laughs> well, I just hope he had some salt and pepper to go along with it. We're being attacked by giants. The largest rabbit made of chocolate weighed over 9,000 pounds and was achieved by a chocolatier in Brazil in 2017. It took a team of nine professionals working for eight consecutive days on the chocolate rabbit sculpture. And over in Italy, there is a chocolate Easter egg that stands well over 30 feet tall and weighs a whopping 15,900 pounds. A murderous rabbit, creepy kids with egg-shaped heads, women being whipped. <laughs> yeah, well, these are the very creepy Easter cards beloved by the Edwardians. Chicks run for their lives as two blonde babies smash their eggs with hammers. Four children creepily appear with egg heads in this creepy Easter greeting card. A frightening rooster with human hands and dressed like a woman holds a basket full of eggs as it appears to terrify a bunny. And this card depicts the Eastern European tradition of whipping women with ribbon-tied sticks on Easter morning. Well, there you have it. Some rather spooky facts all about Easter. <laughs> Alright, I, I need to go eat a tail off a bunny. <laughs> spooky, huh? <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh my gosh, these, like, you know, spooky, interesting facts have been so much fun to do. I don't know who thought we would have started in, like, a, a new tradition like that. But I tell you, I really had to... I had to get really creative to kind of turn Easter into something creepy and spooky, though. Bow no, I think it turned out okay. What do you think? <laughs> How about those cards? Like, really? Oh my gosh, I just, like... I only scratched the surface. You should go online and Google. There are so many of those creepy photos and creepy cards uh, related to Easter. I, I was actually pretty surprised about it. But, all right. So, okay, all right, all right. So, anyway, anyway. Clear your minds completely because it's project time. <laughs> All right, are you ready to make a wreath for Easter and spring? Because that's what we're going to do right now. And yep, I have my ambiance on in the background. Oh, I'm so addicted to these. Today we have, what is it? A crackling fire and some wind. Can you hear it? I hope you can hear it. There's a fire going and it's in the forest. It's really cool. So anyway, so I got that going. And uh, so, yeah, let's start. Let's make this wreath. So what do we need? Well, first of all, we need some orange faux tulips just like this, okay? In addition to that, we'll need some other type of greenery. I chose some ferns. I think these look pretty good. And this will all make sense 
you know, as we do the project. But basically, this is for the top of a carrot, like to mimic what it looks like. So, you know, you choose whatever you think will look best. In addition to that, we need some wire cutters. We need some floral wire. You'll need some type of ribbon. I chose this uh, burlap ribbon here. I think this is going to look nice, but we'll see. Um, your hot glue gun. <laughs> and then you'll need some type of backing, okay? And this is just foam core like that. You could use scrap wood, cardboard, whatever. And to start, I just added a little hanger to it using um, hot glue. And then what I'm going to do is uh, also take some duct tape just to reinforce it. I'm going to like put some duct tape on there just to make it a little bit stronger there, okay? And, uh, okay, and that is about it. If there's anything I missed, I'm sure we'll get to it, okay? Well, you know, you also need some things like scissors and have a towel handy because we're gonna get glue on our hands stuff like that all right all right so let's begin okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our tulips all right and we're going to remove the leaves that are on them uh, if they have leaves on them, I'm sure they do, though. And we're going to save these because we're going to use these to fill in any gaps that we may have as we move along in the project, okay? So do that to, um, well, pretty much all of the tulips, okay? And then next, we're going to take them and we're going to cut them uh, just so that it's about maybe four to five inches from the flower itself. We can always cut more off if we need to, but you can't put more on. <laughs> so for that, we use our wire snippers because there's wire in there and they'll probably be in the ones you get to. All right. So we don't need that part. So we're going to do that with our tulips so that they all look like that. Okay. Set this aside here. And now, okay, we're going to take our backing here and we're going to place it uh, right side up like that it's side that's going to face us. We're going to have it up like that, okay? Then we're going to take three tulips, okay? Start with one, and we're going to hot glue it to the center at the bottom and have the uh, flower hanging down maybe an inch or so, okay? And we're going to attach that just with some hot glue, just like that. And then hold it for a couple minutes until the glue takes hold, okay? And cools a little bit. Oh, here, we'll back it up. There we go. And then we're going to flank that tulip with two other tulips. This time, moving them up just a little like that so that the first one hangs down a little. Now, that's going to kind of create, like, you know, the bottom of the carrot, like the point. <laughs> All right. So let's add our other tulips. Okay. Just like that. Okay, all right, and now we're going to continue on and we're going to do another row and uh, using our tulips and we're just going to kind of, you know, place them like that, like that, like that, and we're just going to keep adding them on uh, for another two rows just like this, okay? All right, let me, here, let me just show you. Dun, dun. Okay, there we go, like that. Okay, so at this point, this is where our floral wire comes in. We're going just to, like, we're going to reinforce it a little bit, um, so to speak. So we're going to take our floral wire, and we're just going to kind of attach it like that. Make it nice and tight. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, just like that. That'll just give us a little bit of uh, reinforcement to hold them on. I know on my porch it's a little bit windy, so just a little insurance there, you know. All right, so next we just repeat, 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 repeat. Yep. We continue the process working in batches, say four or five tulips at a time. There we go there, like that, like that. You know, hot gluing and then again, reinforcing it with our floral wire until you uh, go all the way up your backing and making it as large or as small as you want to make it. Um, I'm doing mine a little bit small because I'm doing two of them. Uh, kind of want to have a matching pair there. So, um, so yeah, that's it. Let's do it. All right. Okay, so there we go. 
we have the shape of our carrot there you know and as you continue up you can like you know nip and tuck using hot glue if you need to if you have a little space you can fluff out the tulip or add another tulip in there oh i got a little piece of hot glue i have to get up well anyway so that's uh and that's what you want it to look like just like so all right so the next step we're going to add our carrot topper let's move this out of the way and i got these ferns i think this is going to look pretty cute so uh let's see if it does all right so what we're going to do is slide our stem right down the center of our tulips it should go right down, and it does all right so that's good that's good okay perfect and now we're going to secure it with some hot glue and again with our um twine here if you have floral tape that'll work good too i'm just using this uh, floral wire here okay all right waiting for it to dry waiting for it to dry you know i think that like my gravestone is gonna say still waiting for things to dry <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So, okay, we're dry. Okay. So, let's see if I can show it to you there. All right. So, there you have it. There. It's going to look like that. See? Okay. But anyway. All right. So, okay. So, next, this is where our ribbon comes in. All right. So, we are going to take our ribbon. Lift this up. Take our ribbon and we're going to wrap it around where the 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 topper, the carrot top, meets the actual carrot there. Okay, so we're gonna go. You know, we're gonna wrap it around like that, and uh, maybe a couple times, however you want to do it, and uh, uh, finish it off with a bow. Okay, bow time, bow time, bow time. You know, I tell you, I have never, I, I, I am not good at making bows at all. You know, I've never mastered the art of bow making. I'm always so impressed with those people that can just take like whatever ribbon they have and they just go, <gasps> bam, and they have like this beautiful, beautiful bow. I, I can't do it. I find it tedious. I find it just, but you know, I think I did okay here. Let's see what you think. I got a billow. I got a billow here. Billow. Okay. So, all right. So there's the bow. I don't know. And there's our wreath. <laughs> I like it. I, oh, that's that's kind of adorable. <laughs> okay. So the top part here, uh, whatever type of greenery you use, I just kind of bent it down so that it kind of you know, came down a little bit over the carrot there, and uh, I think it looks nice. I like the fern. I think it looks pretty good. Maybe I'll make the bow a little smaller? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I think it's nice. Anyway, you get the picture. So whatever bow you want to put on there, you go ahead and do it. And there you have it, our Easter slash spring carrot door wreath. Ah! <laughs>
All right. Okay. I think I think I've kept you long enough tonight. I I I think so. Anyway, I you know I had a blast. I really did. I had a great time tonight, and I I sincerely hope that you did too. Thank you so so much for spending your time with me tonight. Um, and be sure to hit that subscribe button, okay? And give that notification button a little tickle there, just so you know when we have a new video coming out, okay? Check us out over on Facebook and Instagram. Instagram and all of our contact information is listed right down below. That's our, our P.O. box for mail mail and our email for, well, email, you know. And if you have any questions or anything on what we did tonight, just shoot me an email, okay? Thanks again, everybody, for watching. You have a fantastic week. And remember to always stay safe, stay well, but above all else, stay positive, everybody. Okay, I'll see you next time. Ciao, everybody. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>